Yo, what's happening? We got how strong is novel cars? I still don't think this would even touch a uh, golden requiem. After a total of 17 hours later, I have finally finished George Joestar. And all I can say about novel cars at the end of this book is I finally understand why Araki did not elaborate on his character once he became the ultimate life form because I didn't think he'd get this ridiculously strong. Introductions aside, welcome to the novel cars video. I hope you enjoy. George Josar is a non-canon piece of fictional work by the author Otaro Majiro. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I am not 100% sure. His goal was to answer the idea of who George Joestar was in the original timeline through this book, among other things. How Novel Cars is introduced to the story is through an alternate version of George Joestar, we'll just call him Joji, who meets the ultimate life form on a spaceship heading to Mars. Yes, I know it sounds weird, just roll with it. Georgie meets cars, the original cars from part two, who has lived through 36 other universes and has made Damn. a spaceship out of alternate versions of himself to get back to Earth, which he successfully does with Joji. Cars is a pretty key character in the later half of this book and becomes friends with Joji for some reason. It's it's really weird. I, I know I'm saying this out loud and it doesn't make sense, but even when you read the book, it still doesn't make sense. He just kind of just says like, yeah, I'll help you because you're kind of chill like that like that's that's how it happens in the book i am not joking and with the other 36 cars on mars that have died to get both of these two back on the planet with the rancha and poochie by their side they will now face novel dio so with the story context of why he's here and what he's doing i think i need to elaborate over some part two stuff before i get into any of the crazy scaling within george joestar and the reason why this part two stuff matters is the book makes a pretty clear indication that novel cars is the continuation of part two cars this is not me just making some crazy fan theory. He just is. Now, when it comes to the ultimate life form from part two, his scaling is extremely easy to explain and pretty concrete. The reason being is because he's the ultimate life form, he should scale to characters who have naturally strong abilities. Basically, what you're looking at your Jotaros and your Hell. Dios here. This is pretty blatantly explained in part two when he becomes the ultimate life form, as it states it in the upper left corner of his introduction manga panel. So in terms of AP and durability, it should be somewhere in large city level to to island level in terms of AP and durability. The reason being is Jotaro and the Sun Calc. I've explained it a numerous amount of times, more or less since Silver Chariot can deflect the rays of the sun and these laser beams can be calc to city level to island level in terms of AP. And since Pollen Riff and Silver Chariot are outclassed by Jotaro and Star Platinum numerous amounts of times, Jotaro should scale to these calcs if not higher. This Jotaro with this scaling fights Dio and both of them are pretty neck and neck even to each other, basically confirming the fact both of them are around that like city level to island level in terms of AP and durability. You also could argue in terms of durability, it actually is probably significantly higher, but I digress. So since Dio scales off a of Jotaro and Cars can scale off a of Dio because he is a vampire and Cars is also a vampire and so much more thanks to him being the ultimate life form, he should scale to Dio and Jotaro, putting him exactly in the same AP and durability range. Now in terms of speed, you can use stuff from part two and part three. In part Part two cars Yo, before he was the ultimate be life form was able too. to react to UV light, putting him in that fast as light category, if not faster than light category. And since he becomes the ultimate life form and it should surpass his limits, easily FTL plus. Now, if you use some stuff from part three, old Joseph sometimes is able to outspeed Star Platinum in the world and Jotaro Kujo, who have been stated in stand stat guides in part six and data book guides to be easily massively faster than light plus. This is a no brainer. We should all know this. And since old so Joseph is is completely these little gods and shit is in the book damn bro they be giving all types of description i swear they don't do that with no other anime. out of his prime and is able to outspeed a character like jotaro some of the time in his prime he should be easily at this level meaning that since ultimate cars should outscale joseph that means at the highest you can put ultimate cars speed at is massively faster than light plus same as jotaro so looking at part two cars at its strongest in terms of stats ap and durability should be around city level to island level and in terms of 
speed at its highest could be massively faster than the light plus now when it comes to cars as hacks what and abilities he of course has every species ability on planet earth to a t and then some as he is able to surpass them being the ultimate life form on top of that he is also a hamon and vampire and pillarman who has stated himself against joseph that his hamon is a hundred times stronger than his and you have to remember that cars has a 400 iq so whenever he states something it's a for sure fact you can then also use that statement to explain how powerful any of his other abilities he uses as they should be at maximum a hundred times stronger than they were previous with anybody else using them so yeah when it so comes so basically this nigga is mother nature bro that's all you gotta say bro this nigga is basically mother nature what the to fuck? part two ultimate cars i for sure can definitely say without a shadow of a doubt he's one of the strongest characters in the franchise now within the next few minutes i will guarantee the fact that your mouth will be on the floor as i scale novel cars the scaling i'm about to say to you is true and is nuts beyond anything i ever could have imagined for the character itself i thought novel cars was probably going to be a few steps above part two cars however i was so unmistakably wrong novel cars is insanely powerful and is arguably one of if not the strongest characters including non-canon and canon material and the only reason why he's not top tier is the other characters within this book are being literally helped by the author himself that is not hyperbole i am being so dead ass serious so let's go over novel cars durability as i find this the most fascinating about him as i'm still trying to get my mind wrapped around what he exactly did for context cars and crew including joji narancha and poochie were falling down to earth and they were going to crash into morio they did however where they crashed is extremely important they crashed on top of arrow cross house and cube house now what are those two places well for a brief summarization of what they are arrow cross house is a giant compass with some dimensional shenanigans it's really not important for this however cube house is cube house is a tesseract and if you fall through this tesseract you will bend time and space essentially time traveling to a different location cars and crew what fell the? through this tesseract and time traveled from morio to the in the life of a true brexit gazer making morio an island at the time literally flip over causing it to become great Britain. It's really weird. Don't worry about it. The story is totally bonkers. And during all of this, Cars eventually became a sphere protecting the group from this crash or the toss as the text implies, looking very similar to his 36 Cars on Mars eyeball. And he saved everybody in the crash. At a mid -bowl, Cars protecting everybody and withstanding this crash or this toss can be calced at a mid -bowl to being country level plus. As when Morio flipped over, it became the UK and they there are implications of it being country level. So Cars' <laughs> durability is pretty high. However, in full context of what actually happened, this is kind of a low to mid ball because Cars and crew fell through Cube House, hitting infinite velocity while falling through Cube House, meaning that Cars hit the ground at an infinite velocity, taking near infinite damage. And shockingly enough, this is the only time throughout the entire book after this event where he actually has to take some time to regenerate. Why that is relevant is because when novel cars fights novel dio when they fight each other they instantly make each other explode only leaving blood but in the text it states they instantly regenerate and even regenerate faster than usual to keep up with each other however in this space crash scene we are literally seeing the limitations of the ultimate life form being near infinite in terms of durability or at bare minimum seeing how powerful his regeneration is so yeah having country level plus durability or near infinite durability it's pretty crazy however that is not the only insane durability feat cars has in this book because there is more near the tail end of the story cars and joe starring crew have to travel back in time to defeat novel dio who is currently in the steel ball run universe which is universe 2 and the only way to travel back in time is to use yoshikage kira and his killer queen bites the dust and spam it to go back in time the only person who can withstand all these explosions is novel cars yo. himself Bro, y'all said y'all said Jesus was in this show, bro. Nigga, this is God. Uh, what? What is going on, bro?
meaning that Novel Cars activates Bites the Dust roughly a sub 10 quadrillion times to travel back in time to find Novel Dio. Note how we find this number is just using Cars' age. He's lived from the first universe to the 37th universe. So it has to be in that like 10 quadrillion, nine quadrillion, eight quadrillion times. To add to this, Cars also states that Kira's explosions are not hurting them. He can actually withstand Bites the Dust explosions extremely well. The space crash from earlier did more damage to cars than activating bites the dust anywhere from eight quadrillion times to 10 quadrillion times. So when looking at novel cars' durability, you're looking from anywhere from country level to country level plus to low multiversal to near infinity. Jesus. Now, when it comes to his AP, it is shockingly a lot easier to explain here. Thanks to surviving the spaceship crash and fighting somebody like Novel Dio, who had very similar powers to Novel Cars, thanks to him being somewhat an ultimate life form, you can definitively say at a low ball, Cars' AP is somewhere in country to country level plus. A quick side note on top of that, neither of these characters, when they fought each other, were at their full power. Cars did not have Made in Heaven Ultimate Requiem, nor did Novel Dio have Beyond yet. However, they were thrashing the City that they were in and each other, but coming back immediately from it. However, with Made in Heaven Ultimate Requiem, Cars' AP can get a little bit crazy. Since Made in Heaven Ultimate Requiem can destroy the universe and multiple universes at that, and that's just not affecting the whole universe, thanks to Made in Heaven Ultimate Requiem, he can individually target an object or a person, affecting their perception of time. There is also an implication what that Made in Heaven Ultimate Requiem can affect a person physically themselves and not their perception perception, but it's a bit weird on the wording. What the f*** does that mean? Otaro Majiro. <laughs> but if he actually can physically manipulate them as a person, that means he could instantly destroy them. And if you want to use the common argument, if you're able to withstand it, you can output it. Since he was able to withstand so many bites thus explosions, his AP could also be closer to low multiversal, thanks to his durability feat with bites the dust. So in terms of AP, Cars is pretty cracked, having somewhere in between country level plus, universal plus to low multiversal in terms of AP. Now, when it comes to the speed category, this is the easiest one to explain since he has Made in Heaven Ultimate Requiem, which is a stand that can accelerate time to infinity almost instantly because this book actually describes its ability extremely well. It's not this gradual thing. No, it instantly ends the universe and restarts it within like a few sentences. So Cars' speed should be somewhere in between like massively fast and light plus to easily Wait, no. being infinity. Imagine Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this the same motherfucker from that lap? Did I re from the Made in Heaven video. Cause what bro? Two people can have the same stand? is also on the table as well and just basically to back this up you can also scale from part six and also for the person that's going to complain about how these stands break physics the book itself states that stands don't care about physics so there you go the age-old question how these characters are this fast it's just because there you go so moving on to hacks and abilities the first thing i want to talk about is his intelligence and that's due to the fact that well it's so overpowered that it has to be considered a hack there are multiple times throughout this book where Cars has shown an incredible high degree of intelligence, where he shows the ability to understand the concept of heaven within this reality, where he's able to outsmart Joji in being a detective without even knowing about previous events, being able to understand the concepts of time travel going back and forth, and on a numerous amount of other occasions being able to outsmart the main characters and waiting for them to get to that point so they can continue on with the story. He literally figures out how to do things before the main characters and just waits for them to catch up. It's it's kind of crazy. And of course, the biggest one out of all of them, given enough time with a subject, he will understand it in full. The main example of this is Stans. After dissecting Naranch's U-boat while in the spaceship, after some time, it's not instantaneous, mind you, he is able to unlock Stans. And not just one stand, a multitude of stands. Due to him being the ultimate life form, he is not limited to one. It's actually nuts how smart the guy is. That 400 IQ is putting in work. But I do want to clarify, like I previously said, he can't understand every concept instantaneously. It does take a little bit of time. Now it varies from how fast he can actually learn something. I'm assuming the more complex a certain subject is, it probably takes longer, but if it's an easy subject, he could probably learn it almost instantly. So it's very possible for him to adapt and learn a plethora of other techniques from different universes if he were involved in a cross versus fight. And
What the hell, bro? So basically, this motherfucker is unbeatable, but the authors just made him beatable, bro. Because this this motherfucker sounds overpowered, bro. Like hella overpowered. The motherfucker is traveling through time and learning different abilities, bro. And since I did mention it earlier, let's talk about Ultimate Cars' list of stands he can use. Mm -hmm. Quick side note before I start scaling some- A damn lit- a whole list? Some of these stands- all these stands are stronger than the original counterparts due to the fact that they all have become the ultimate version of that stand. And what thanks the to the part two scaling we did earlier, at maximum all these stands have to be at least a hundred times stronger than their original counterparts. Now going from least notable to most notable, we start with U-Boat Ultimate, which is a ultimate version of Narancha's U-Boat. This stand is basically Aerosmith with a lot of perks to it, as it's a submarine that can dive into a person and launch torpedoes within, and it has the capability abilities of flying and being able to separate itself making multiple submarines cars ultimate version of this stand has the ability of amplified sonar and that's the only kind of crazy thing Ain't a lot this shit kind of sound lame can really do other than that it showed some very capable feats against novel Dio. but other than that the stands pretty okay nothing too crazy with it moving on to dune ultimate which is the ultimate version of dune which is possessed by sandman of the 37th universe regular dune has the capabilities of manipulating sand in a defensive way very similar to Gara from Naruto, and has one impressive feat of being able to control the entire sand of Mars, giving it a planetary level feat. Cars uses it the in the fuck? same way with a bit of offensive flair against Novel Dio, in which showing the standoff easily destroys the city that they are in. Other than that, Dune Ultimate doesn't show any special abilities, it's just overall stronger than regular Dune. Moving on, we have Ultimate D4C, yeah, we just really ramped it up from like two nobodies to like one of the strongest stands in the series, which is a stand that is the ultimate variation of Funny Valentine's D4C. D4C's abilities consist of being able to hop to parallel universes when squished in between two objects. And if Funny <laughs> Valentine were to bring- Yo, bro, how is this even fair, bro? This nigga has everybody stand, bro. A similar object from one universe to a parallel universe if they were to come in contact with each other would instantly blow up leading to a very complicated one-shot ability to set up on top of that if funny Valentine were to die he can pass on his stand to a different funny Valentine basically making him immortal d4c ultimate should have all these abilities but doesn't have any like unique buffs or anything it's just stated or to be implied stronger than the original variant as it only shows up once in the entire book giving ultimate cars more immortality one-shot capabilities and like parallel what, world bro. traveling added to his kit by the way i'm not even halfway there i still have seven stands to talk about oh Moving my on, god we have the world ultimate which is the ultimate version of dio brando's the world originally the world had the ability to stop time for nine seconds and had the potential to move around in 11 seconds of frozen time however the world ultimate not only gains a stat increase but also a ability increase where it's able to stop time for nearly an hour cars has this ability now now. Oh god, it's it's not ending the too. I, I'm still going, by the way. Next, we have Poochie's evolutionary line of his stand, White Snake, Sea Moon, and Maiden Heaven. Ultimate Cars has an ultimate variation of all three of these stands. White Snake has the ability to take away somebody's memories and stand abilities. Once taken away, it's basically a one shot as you will basically become a meat puppet lying on the ground. However, you can survive it if you have a high enough intelligence. However, only one character has ever done this within the book, that being Joji. However, he does have beyond and it might be just an outlier white snake ultimate also has the capability of giving people stands customized stands even if ultimate cars allows it they're just dumbed down versions of the ultimate variations of his stands sea moon has the ability to invert gravity affecting everything around him and affecting people sea moon ultimate is just a stronger variation of that stand and really didn't have very much screen time so we can't really hyper analyze it like the others however in the part six manga if you do get hit by sea moon your body will invert instantly killing you so yet again with sea moon ultimate cars has another one shot ability moving on to made in heaven made in heaven has the capabilities of moving so fast it's able to affect time causing the universe to die and then restart and unlike its part six variant in this book it's almost instantaneous as there's no long wait as the universe goes from one to another made in heaven ultimate record Good is Lord, that stand bro. but a hell of a lot stronger on top of the fact that it can now affect living things and people giving cars 
universal AP plus or low multiversal on top of boosting his speed to infinity or possibly immeasurable speeds. Yeah, novel cars is cracked. We all should know this by now, but I still have more stands to talk about. Now, these three stands are in this weird area of being like kind of his stands, kind of not. The first Bro, why the fuck would the author give this nigga this many stands, bro? Like, bro, why? Hold on, why would they create this character? What? What the fuck, bro? This shit not even fair. First being Killer Queen. The reason why he has Killer Queen is, well, Cars psychologically torments Yoshikake Kira into being basically brain dead and then forces Killer Queen to be his stand. Like he uses another person's stand. It's not Killer Queen Ultimate. It's just regular Killer Queen that Cars has persuaded into helping him. So it's more like a tool because there's like implications that Cars can't gain evolve stands as they're unnatural. So keep that in mind. So Killer Queen, slash maybe killer queen ultimate is like in this weird gray area of being cars's now if cars did actually gain killer queen he'd have another one shot ability thanks to killer queen's first bomb he would have sheer heart attack and bites the dust the next tier being is the passion now the passion is in this also weird gray area technically cars can gain this stand however he never does for some reason more likely than not otaru is kind of like soft locking cars not gaining this ability because he would be too overpowered for the plot if Nigga, cars did he gain already the passion, overpowered he basically <laughs> had like late. a super cracked out version of epitaph basically allowing him to see the future however the reason why he probably didn't gain it is because it's a dio exclusive singularity problem here is my idea and lastly since cars has hormone and it is stated in part seven that hormone is a gateway to stands hypothetically speaking cars could technically gain hermit purple ultimate the stand would probably be capable of information gathering on a higher level than Joseph ever did, and in combination with Cars' intelligence, it would be probably hyper lethal, in my honest opinion. So, stepping back and looking at all of Ultimate Cars' abilities, he potentially has like nine, maybe ten stand abilities at his disposal. And on top of all of those stand abilities, he is still the ultimate life form. That means he has instant regeneration, he is a Hamon user, he is a vampire, he is a pillarman, and has like eight million different species, animals, capabilities all wrapped up into one. So, yeah. He's he's beyond overpowered when it comes to hacks and abilities. And remember, at maximum, all those abilities are a hundred times stronger with novel cars and ultimate cars than their original variants. At a surface level, novel cars is insanely broken. I think everybody understands that. However, there is a conversation we need to have, and this is probably going to be the most important part of the entire video. Novel cars is a creature of context. Now, what I mean by that is yes, at the highest level, novel cars is crazy crazy overpowered. He is constantly evolving and gaining new abilities. He has calcs that put him in like universal plus to low multiversal. However, there is context behind all of that scaling. And that is novel cars doesn't see himself like that. Cars has stated multiple times that he wouldn't be able to survive coming from the upper atmosphere to the surface of the earth as he would either burn up or humans would find his very near death corpse and finish him off. Putting into question the universal to low multiversal durability statement, and the infinity vertical shaft durability calc. On top of that, the AP stuff can get weird because of that durability stuff. And since a lot of the stand statements within this book are kind of very vague, his AP can also be put into question as well. His speed, not so much. They're kind of like really blatantly explaining speed stuff within this book. He's at bare minimum FTL, like easily. However, due to all of the crazy feats Cars does in this book, it puts in a lot of those skepticisms on the chopping block to see if they're actually true or not. Lowballing cars being like ap country level plus durability country level plus speed and like massively faster than light plus is just disingenuous because you're only looking at the low ball calcs because of statements characters have said thinking they're extremely concrete however on the extreme side of that looking at the high ball calcs as being what these characters are truly capable of is disingenuous because there is context behind that stuff that needs to be analyzed like sure novel cars can have like ap ranging to universal plus to low multiversal durability 
already in that same category, probably closer to infinity, speed definitely being in infinity. It's plausible. However, Cars doesn't think he's damn near anywhere near that, as he himself kind of contradicts it. So this is where I'm going to come to my final take on novel Cars and where he should be at. A true novel Cars should be mid bolt unless the situation requires something else. AP is definitely for sure in Universal Plus to low multiversal. That's being backed up by Made in Heaven Ultimate Requiem and its capabilities, even if they're a little bit up for debate, it should be up there. In terms of durability, taking everything into account, it should be at least country level plus. The reason why I'm stating it's this is because Cars is not confident in being able to survive the atmosphere to the surface of Earth. However, it can be heavily debated as Cars does get stronger throughout the book and the feats he has shown throughout the book. So I would say country level plus with an asterisk next to it possibly could be higher in terms of speed it's easily ftl plus to infinity debatably immeasurable that's thanks to made in heaven ultimate requiem's power and when it comes to novel cars hacks he has like five one-shot abilities he can time travel thanks to these hacks his regeneration is busted he's incredibly smart he's like two times immortal he's incredibly powerful when it comes to the hacks and abilities department he is absolutely nuts comparing part two and novel cars they're not even remotely the same they are completely two different characters even though novel cars is a continuation of part two cars one is so grossly overpowered compared to the other one it's not even funny as i read this book and was scaling novel cars my jaw was on the floor half the time because of novel cars he's insanely overpowered and the fact that he's not the strongest character because there are characters within this book that have the power of beyond which is basically plot armor the ability is insane what to me fuck? cars isn't even the strongest within this book both george's and novel Novel Dio are cracked. This nigga is overpowered, bro, but he just ain't got no confidence in himself, bro. And whatever book that is, bro, keep that book in the book, bro. Don't make that shit in, into them real shit, please, bro.